Last week, we were making tables and a bar and interior stuff, and now we are making safety goggles. Uh, why? Because in the hospitals, they are making the face masks themselves because all the stocks have run out. Um, but they cannot make the safety goggles, and we can. And so can you if you have a laser cutter and some other basic machinery that you can get in almost every city. The last few years, we have been trying to make a goggle that is suitable for the job to protect your eyes from the coronavirus. And I'm going to show you how to make them yourself so that you can help your local municipality, your local hospital, whatever. We are making a lot of them at the moment. Uh, stocks are low, so uh, next Monday we are, will be getting the new plexiglass and we can make two and a half thousand extra goggles. So today is a good day to make a video how you can make them yourself for your own area. Um, it's really easy. All that you need is a laser cutter, plexiglass, three millimeters thick, and a, a plexiglass bender. And I'm going to show you step by step how we make them and um, what improvements we made to make it more comfortable and um, give more protection. Thanks. The first step is laser cutting the shape. If you have a laser cutter, you know how to do this. It's easy, it's clean and accurate. The most important thing with these glasses is that it is, it's, it is a stop gap measure. So we have no certification, nothing at all, but it is way better than wearing no glasses at all. The first step is using a table router to deburr this sharp edge. We're gonna make it round because it will touch the face mask and if it's too sharp, it can potentially damage the face mask and compromise the person that's wearing it. We use a simple routing table. Low RPM, that's the most important thing, otherwise the plastic will start to melt. That's it. Now you have a nice, clean, round edge along the nose piece, and this will protect the mask. We do the nose piece first. Be sure to put it the right way up. Wait a few seconds because you're going to need it when taking them out. Then it will start heating up the plexiglass. And you can bend it. That's it. Now you can go to the first piece and try if it's getting flexible. You know when the first one is ready, all the others will be ready five seconds later. This one is getting there. Once you have started your production line, you can do something else at the moment. But this is just explaining, of course. You see, this one is done. Now I have five seconds to take it out, place it in my jig, get a new one, oh. and you can feel that they are getting softer, so I have to be fast now. Otherwise, the last one will get bubbles in the plastic. Okay, you can see, you can make a lot of them in a day. They are cooling down now. I've made these before, so now I'm going to go to the next station. And the bend is made exactly at the point where the goggle changes shape. It's really easy to align. Be careful, you need to wait for the five seconds, otherwise you won't make it. Ah, 
are they getting there? Yes. I'm going to show you the angles later. Can you just wait a moment because no, it's fine. It's fine. And there you have it. A almost completed goggle. To bend the glasses, you only need two jigs. The first jig, nothing more than this, and it will bend the nose piece to 20 degrees. The second one is this, so nothing more than this, and it will bend the sides to 73 degrees. For the elastic strap, there are two kinds of strap. Um, we've got them from an upholstery shop. You've got this type, when you pull, it will get narrower, so it's less comfortable. And you have this one. When you pull, it will retain its original width. Try to get this one, it's better. What we've done, we've used a soldering iron, an old drill press, a mark where we put the elastic, something like that, pull it down, and you're done. The heat will melt the material together and you will get a nice and clean finish. This way you can make a lot of them in a day. That's it. Well, we just made the glasses, we just made the uh, rubber bands. Now just put them together. You can just deliver them like this and the rubber band and just write a small manual. It's faster, so if you really are in a hurry, you can just do it like this. But what we do at the moment, we peel off the edges, leave it on the glass, because then the glass won't get scratched and it will stay clean. And we attach the rubber band ourselves. Now, for the rubber band, you have three holes. You start at the back. Work your way forward, work your way backwards. Forwards again. And trust me, this is not difficult. It will be a lot easier if there's not a camera in the way. And there you go again. This is the most important one. You have this zigzag now, and then you go back through the first hole and that is the thing that tightens it. So now it's strong and steady and you can pull it. And if you want to adjust it, you can just pull this out, pull it that way, pull it that way. And if you put it back in, it will lock itself in place. The most important thing is start on the inside. Now the other side is the same. And your goggle is done. So then, when it gets to the place where they are needed, they just pull off this side, pull off that side, put them on your face, and you're done. And it will look something like this. Um, among the feedback that we've got from people that are using them is that they are not that comfortable. True. We only designed them this Wednesday and we are shipping them two days later. So it's a stopgap matcher. They will work better than wearing no goggles at all. That's the idea. What you can do to make it more comfortable with every shipment that we do, we put them in a bag of 10 pieces and we ship this foam. It's from the hardware store, 
I have no idea what the English name is, but it's a little foam with a sticky side. What you can do in your manual, and we have the Dutch and English manual below this video, you can just let them do it themselves because they know where, if it touches here or it touches there, and don't touch your face, by the way, you can just put on this tape. Um, it makes them a lot more comfortable and uh, easier to adjust to your own preferences. Um, that's it, thank you very much. I hope somebody somewhere is helped by this video. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>